Okay, everybody, welcome back to some GTA 5. I'm Street, and we're right back in here. Old Trevor, he's finally made it to like Los Santos. And yeah, I had to re bring him all the way back into over here. You know, in the last episode, we were in daybreak. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't already done it, man, go on and hit that like button, that subscribe button, even that notification bell. Best way to support you, help your channel grow and everything. Boy, Los Santos looks pretty at nighttime, don't you? Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we finna. Yeah, shut up, man, don't you? Even out car we're gonna go ahead and jump in this vehicle and i'm head on into the city see what all trevor's up to all right los santos the city of shitheads where else would he be it's Vespucci beach where he's staying will you tell me the story about that boy trisha ah yeah yeah where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accent like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until That's one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations oh, told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt wow, and despair. Dude, and just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade. We do not know. <laughs> but we haven't got there Oh! Yet. Oh! We're near Floyd's house. I seen it on the iPhone map. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. You don't turn here. Oh shit. So now here's like a rat. It's straight here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Okay. Which way did you go? Uh, went this way. Oh hell, what did I do? Yeah, I did have to go in the front. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, how about uh, a stairwell that's right here, dumbass? Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. 
Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She, she's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neville's bed. A guy was never true. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. Yeah, full F one weekend now. We use it as a safe house. You can see vehicles in park. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Mission pass. Friends and rule. All right. Continue on. Um, I don't know how many travels now are all available to switch between. Okay. So let's see what's all and where inside here. Yeah. 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 Let's see what's. Let's check out on it. Nothing there. Uh, this is what we can, I guess. Nope. I guess this was the closet over here. Oh, it's this one. Better for saving. Here what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to save. That way we have a save point here. <clears throat> yes. Alright, now. Now we got this. outside, okay, that's outside the appointments. Alright, let's head on out and find, oh, you know, thank you. I just want to see something real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what, let's flip over to Michael's real quick and see if he's got any kind of quest since we haven't got paid yet for the hmm, thing. All right, okay, so there's a cutscene here. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh yeah, I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Miguel. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. You looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. 
What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? Oh, Michael. <laughs> Trevor? Hmm. Michael. Pass from the blast. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been Dead. resurrected. Ain't this grand? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. Hmm. That's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. Something's gonna go down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now, where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go. Come on. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Sue, so, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Brock. Raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there with. I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. <laughs> you two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't 
Undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great! Come on! This is a shitty part of town, I know that. Move all the way. Bad driver. Got the old war for it. Oh, we're at the Coliseum. Do you always have to hit freaking brakes? First. This has got to be it. The Maze Bank. Let's go in. Maze Bank. We look like a damn freaking Coliseum. You look great. Here we go. Come on. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. Back off. Seems like y'all need to clean your shit. <laughs> Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter, bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is <laughs> oh, hey, open break this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was really, really good. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> You get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. I will. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Chill, 
the fuck out! I saw him! Turn left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? He went left! Shoot that. I knew this city would be full of douchebags! Can we speed it up a little? Huh? I'm trying. Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. He took a right! Got to get out all out of my way. We'll catch him in the battery car. Right, right here. I see it. I see it. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up. That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. Why get in my way? Why get in my way. We'll get him. We'll get him. I know, I'm well, trying to. we're sure to. taking our time about it. Well, shit. You gotta get through the gears and everybody wants to get in the way. I see no turn. Oh, that great? Hit every vehicle. Ah, ah! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. Be careful! I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. Shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 you hey, guys, hey, you run you out doing? of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no. get off. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Alright, now we gotta go to Galileo Sarah. Right, contact Trevor. One more thing. Alright, we're going to ride now. Gotta go to the Galileo's. Alright, what is it, man? Hey there! How you doing? 
Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. Place. It's full of fucking hipsters. They turn my life around. Don't act like a tough guy. Ah! Damn it. Alright, let's head up that way real quick. Come on, man, I just got that bike! Somebody stop that guy! Yeah, crack that. I'm getting on. Definitely some fancy dance homes up in here with rolling voices. I have a little bit of zoom zoom car. smoked out last night. Oh, he's Stop in the back. It's rude. I won't. It's not rude. You shit me walking and talking. I think I blew a guy. I'd say you blew No, he's a celebrity. I totally cannot tell you his name. You know how I do it. See you at the casting call later. Here's he down there. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. 
forever. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are, your problems. are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... <laughs> Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well, then we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh, oh that oh. freaking hurt. I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. Okay. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronet. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcohol. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Ah, back from the dead, ah, motherfucker. Ah, ah, ah. Alright. We did that. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? Out of there! How, how you search, buddy? That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can... Uh. Ah. <clears throat> This, this guy can't see having seen what he's seen. I guess we need to pick up some weapons. Mission failed. No shit. Alright, see so we can.
gotta get out of here. We gotta get, 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 get. We gotta get Michael out of here quick and fast. All right. Let's hurry up try to see Can always learn. Yeah. Carry on with your business. Ah. Extreme prejudice, people. It's on the other side. I know. Whoa. I'm gonna go on this side of the bit. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Oh wait, hold on, why don't we do this real quick? The hell, how do you get out of this damn place? We got the exit sealed! It's all a big misunderstanding! Come to them, we gotta go downstairs. Yes, ah! not. We don't need that med bag. Uh, 
let's cap it on the outside there. Can't go out that way. Why is it? Hold on, let's see something real quick. Right, see something? All I need to know.
shit. They found me. Damn it. Thought I got away. Funny how they uh, you know getting out of this area. That's a freaking race track there. Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick. Meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, huh? Look, I'm on my way. Alright, since we done ditched the cops. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Alright, let's head on over to here. Then I need to get to a point where we can save and call it a day. This is a little speedy car right here, boy, I'm telling you. Hey, 
Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. It didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a an informal witness protection program. He helped me, I didn't reveal secrets of his, and everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I... I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... I don't... Hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Okay. Look. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, be a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, okay. I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. All I'm right. with you. Okay. Mission pass. Dead man walking. All right. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to put a cut in today's video. I do appreciate everybody coming out, hanging out with me in GTA 5. It was a lot longer than I wanted to and everything. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, you haven't already done it, man, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, even that notification bell. Best way to support the channel, help the channel grow and everything. And as always, everybody, be careful and be safe until the next time. I will smell you like from old GTA 5. I'll answer the phone. Bye-bye. Have a good one, y'all.